We are here today with Charlie Crowley, a heart of an evangelist, born January 9th, 1941. I think that makes you 72 years young, correct? Born with cerebral palsy in Jamaica, New York. Well, you had a group of disabled folks invite you to a meeting, an evening meeting. Tell us about that meeting. I met the girl of a handicap camp, kind of fell in love, you know, in love. And so I was from non Christian, we were Catholic, but we never went to church. Shepherds are for weak people, you know. So I was a mean, the man knew I think I fell, but he said my bed is going to a chalk painting tonight. Would you like to come? We'll take you home and see. I said, wonder. And I walk in the church, but the church service. I done my life at nighttime church. And I said, oh, more than crazy Christian. Oh, I thought I was not. I So they sat me in the middle of both of them so I could get out. After the meeting, I went up to look at the painting, and the woman was there to give me a picture that I didn't know where was it was. So you went up to see the painting, and the lady said, do you know Jesus? Yeah, well, I thought it was a man named Jesus. Oh, you thought it was a man named Jesus, but she meant she Jesus. Said, yeah, and then she said, no, my Lord. So, who is it? The Greek came me the five spiritual law. I went home for winter time. I went in my room. I had my overcoat on. I read that book over and over. My mother came to help me to bed around. I got home from church around eight. And my mother came in my room around ten. I threw out my overcoat on my hat and my clothes. And I called the woman the next morning. I did brief, bought me a Bible and picked me up a beer. And I had a fiery temper. I did it out before. And I lived to break windows and doors and write them what they were on my lookout. They were going to commit me to a mental war for life. But when the Lord came in my heart, it, it was like a new place. So they were about to commit you to a mental ward for life. You went to the church meeting with the crazy Christians yeah. and, and experienced God, and then you went back to the doctor. What did he say? Every five days, he called my mother and said, we don't know what happened to him, but he didn't need to be here. Come get him. I would run up and down the wall and they gave me on the screen. They had to throw me in a padded cell. Put you in a padded cell. You yeah. were running up and down the hall screaming. Yeah. Yeah. And God did and something. And when God came, I said, I need my right mind reading the Bible. The doctor would come in here. What happened? What happened to you? I did Jesus save me. 